This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos, and today we're going to take a look at how to factor, and we're going to look at a special case called a difference of two squares. All right, let's get right into it. Let's talk about a problem, and this will be our first. We'll take a look at three. All right, so uh, you probably could see why we call this a difference of two squares, because you could see right there, there is a difference. It means we're subtracting. All right, now what does it mean about the two squares? Well, 25 is a perfect square. 25 is really 5 squared. So there you go. We have an x that's being squared. We've got a 5 that's being squared. It's called a difference of two squares. Now it turns out that when you have this difference of two squares, uh, we can factor it. Uh, and the pattern seems to be pretty simple. The pattern is since there's nothing in common with these two terms except they share a similar pattern it's just not a common factor uh, the pattern is this you're gonna put down x times x you're gonna put down 5 and a negative 5 except one is gonna be positive and the other one's gonna be negative now this pattern does seem to work because if you go back to the original problem this is x squared plus no x's minus 25. So we want two numbers that are basically going to multiply to be negative 25, but they have to add up to be 0. And this will actually kind of connect maybe a little bit more uh, succinctly when you take a look at the next video that we'll have, and it's going to be regar regarding how to factor trinomials. Anyway, uh, the, the way you factor this trinomial is you think of what are the two numbers that multiply to be negative 25 but they add up to be 0 and it's negative 5 and positive 5 because they multiply to be negative 25 and they add up to be 0 so they seem to satisfy both of those requirements and if you actually were to multiply these out you would get x squared minus 25 so in the future what I'm going to do is just take the shortcut I just imagine what are the two things being squared I put those things down, one positive, one negative, done. That's it. Okay, let's get to the next example. We've got three of them to go through, and they'll both fit the same, or actually all three of them will fit the same pattern. Uh, all right, well, let's take a look at 4y squared minus 36. Again, this is a difference of two squares. Why? Well, I'm taking 2y times 2y, or in other words, 2y squared is 4y squared. 36 is really 6 squared. See, it's a difference of 2 squares. All right, well, it fits the same pattern uh, just like our last problem. So the pattern works like this. You put two binomials down. One uh, term in front is going to have a 2y, as does the other. And the other second term within each of these factors is going to have a 6, except one's plus, one's minus. There you have it. That's a difference of two squares all put down there. If we were to actually multiply this out using a table, we would get back the original problem. I'm not going to demonstrate that. I'll leave that for the viewer to try if you'd like. All right, let's get uh, a really nasty looking problem. Uh, now, I just really try to think of a problem that's about as hard as I could imagine, uh, but yet still demonstrate the difference of two squares. And uh, I came up with this jobber. Tough one. All right, well, if I could get this to be a difference of two squares like I did in the last two ones, well, it'd be pretty easy. I'll be able to write down the, the, the factors. Well, okay, well, let's see. Uh, what's squared here? Well, it is z to the fourth is being squared. And let's see, I have uh, over here, I know it's 4 that's being squared. I got t to the 16th. That's all being squared. Yeah, horrible, right? 4 squared is 16. t to the 16th times t to the 16th is t to the 32nd. So anyway, it, it does fit the same pattern. So we do z to the 4th. We put minus 4 t to the 16th. And we also have another one, z to the 4th plus 4t to the 16th. 
Oh, but not so fast. It turns out that uh, I am now going to use the highlight here and uh, I'd like to show you that here we have another difference of two squares, right? There's a difference and these are two squares. So I actually could factor this term again. Okay, so that actually could be factored once more. So I'm going to do just that. So in other words, I'm going to leave this guy alone and I'm going to bring that down there in a moment, but I'm going to factor this guy. So I'm going to concentrate just on that for a moment. So uh, it looks like what are the two factors? Well, let's see. z squared times z squared is e to the fourth. Let's see. 2 times 2 is 4. I don't know if I could squeeze this in there, I hope so. This is going to be t to the eighth times t to the eighth. Because I multiply those, I'm going to add the exponents, I'll get t to the sixteenth. Remember, one's positive, one's negative. Now remember, I just factored this, okay? So these two factors multiplied together equals this one here. So uh, in addition to this, I still have the this factor as well. So I'm going to write this down. z to the fourth uh, plus 4t to the sixteenth. So it turns out that uh, I do have a variety of factors, and it turns out that there are three factors to this original problem. Quite a mess, uh, but there they have it. Uh, so I was actually had a difference of two squares within a difference of two squares. So it actually got kind of complicated. We used the pattern twice for this one problem. All right, that's all there is to it. So uh, I'd like to welcome you to come back to MathGuide.com. Check out all our interactive lessons and quizzes and videos. Take care.